Today we're going to look at my favorite artwork sent by the community. Hey, how's it going? My name's Daniel, aka Hashlips, and welcome to today's update where I'm going to talk about my favorite collections sent by people. Now, before we get into that, this is an update, and I do have to mention that thank you so much for all the support on the GitHub repos. If you want to check out any of our repos, it's at github forward slash hashlips. Now, these repos have been growing, and especially the one a Hashlips Art Engine, which everyone is fond about and is currently using. Although the previous two old repos are still um, widely used, I think this repo is now picking up grounds and it's good because that's the repo where we update and, you know, keep healthy, if I can put it like that. Anyways, this week we had a lot of fun showing people how to do different Solidity contracts making updates to the art engine and also having fun with the community and growing the discord channel which is awesome on the youtube side of things we've grown this community to over 8,000 people and i have to thank the community for that for sticking with us and enjoying coding along next i do want to mention before we get to the artworks is if you go to the hashlips webpage you can find our discord over there and telegram page these communities are growing and they are helping each other out with coding problems, coding solutions, and even coding suggestions. If you go and join, this week we'll host a Nerdy Coder Clone giveaway, which is pretty cool, and that's going to be happening in the channels. Now, let's get going and let's look at my favorite NFTs that people have sent me. If you want to see your artworks on this channel, please go ahead and send them. The address is in this description of this video and I will have a look at it. And if I love this artwork, I will definitely add it to my favorites. But let's take a look at all the honorable mentions, which is all these NFTs that people have sent me. You can see that there's quite a wide variety and my choices were so difficult to, to make. Um, especially choosing my favorite ones. There's really some amazing artworks out there and I really have to thank everyone for putting in the effort and showing me their artworks. But getting to my favorite this week is first off this Busy Beaver uh, Black Market. Okay, Now this collection caught my eye and I think I got one of these beavers and I checked them out and I um, you know, went about my business creating videos and every time I came back to my wallet, I saw these beavers and I thought they are quite unique. I then went ahead and gone into one and this is how they look. Now, on the top of, the, of, of my head, you know, when I look at it, it looks quite simple. But this style is so unique and so um, idealistic and, and stylized, I cannot explain it uh, really in words. It's it's like a perfect example of a beautiful illustrated beaver. It's simplistic and yet complex in the same way. If we go back to the marketplace, you'll see that these different beavers have tails. And these tails, sometimes there's a belt and a tie. Um, this one has a flower, some stripes, some polka dots. Um, you know, this one looks like a whole police car. Um, but these tails have their own kind of life in itself. And that's what I really loved about this collection. It's not only the beaver that gets dressed up and the style is beautiful on these beavers, but it's the tails that actually tells the story for me. And that's why I chose this as one of my favorite collections. Thank you to the person who sent me this beaver. I will cherish it and... I must say I'm looking forward to your collection growing. My second favorite collection for the week is the non-fungible characters, the Misfit Avatars collection. Quite a big name. But when I looked into this collection, I was pleasantly pleased by how it turned out and the kind of items that got, you know, added onto a character. It caused this kind of juxtaposed feel to it. I mean, here you have like a cat-like humanoid with one or human being with one eye. Um, then you get normal characters uh, with, 
uh, glasses, but this looks very strange. And then I think the oddness of this collection was the appeal to me. And that's what I basically liked about it. And that's why I chose this as my second favorite. Um, they are quite unique. They are meme-like. It looks like these can be posted on a chat like Telegram when there's a meme war going on. Uh, it looks pretty cool. It looks um, stylized. It's, it's in its own style. I won't say that the artworks um, created here has been given too much detail, like the beavers, for instance. But that just shows that it doesn't have to be this perfect created artwork for um, us to start finding a liking into a collection. People like this because it's weird, it's strange, it's different. And yet, even though it's the simple, it conveys a beautiful message of the different characters that can be created. Another aspect of this collection that I liked is the variations. You can see just by looking at this row of characters, each one looks so different. This person looks like a dog-like person, for instance. And um, yeah, you get some characters in here. And the one that I got was this one. Let me go to it, this one. And when I saw this, obviously I saw the lips and it... Um, Immediate, immediately resonated with me when I saw the, or, uh, the yellow and the pink, basically the Hashlips colors. And I realized that this was a Hashlips exclusive one that they've made. I'm not going to choose people who've, who've made Hashlips in their collections. Don't get me wrong. There's been a lot of people who've placed Hashlips inside of their collections. And I appreciate that. But I don't always choose them as my favorite ones that I showcase. Just take a note of that. But in this case, I liked how um, this artist actually incorporated the Hashlips kind of feel. And the thing I love about this character is the actual curly braces on the eyebrows. This represents code and I like that. So thank you so much for this collection. I must say uh, these characters look cool, well done, and I cannot wait to see this collection grow. And my absolute favorite for the week is the Meta Lisa collection. Thank you for the person who sent me one or two of these Meta Lisas. Uh, obviously, this is a spin off of Leonardo's work, the Mona Lisa, that's very clear. But the amount of detail that has gone into these artworks are insane. And I'm going to prove this now to you guys by showing you some of the artworks. I just want to say sometimes collections might start off small, like this one. I go into it and I see there's not a lot minted. But I don't think people realize the amount of detail that's actually gone into it because on the top of your head, you look at this and you say, okay, this is a collection and there's been items added to it. But when you truly look at it, the amount of detail and the way that these elements just melt into the image of the Mona Lisa is insane. It looks realistic. It looks like a new kind of artwork. Let me explain what I mean. I found this one, and as you can see, it has the normal background, it has these glasses, the scary looking um, serial killer mask basically, and then um, the anonymous mask over there, and love on the fingers. Now if you look at this image, it looks like these items should belong there, right? It looks so well placed on top of this uh, Mona Lisa image, it's crazy. If you go back to the collection and just look at the top here, you can see behind this Mona Lisa, there's a dragon flying over there. That's the E.T. Phone Home one, which I would have absolutely loved to get because I, I love that E.T. movie since I was a child. But I haven't noticed this until I closely looked at the artworks. There's a volcano at the back of this one. Even the, the mustaches, they have little shadows. It looks so well blended that... It's truly amazing just taking a look at this collection. And I think this collection is going to do so freaking well. So thank you so much for the person who sent me these Mona Lisas. I cannot wait to see this collection grow. And yeah, I must say this is one of my favorite collections. I know it's not, there's no, uh, not a lot of owners yet, but I'm sure this will grow once people start seeing the quality that actually went into creating this.
That's it for this video guys. I want to say thank you for supporting this channel. If you really want to see your artworks on the next update video, go ahead and send them to my address. The address is in the description and I will take a look at that and maybe you get selected to be showcased um, on this channel. But that being said, coming up this week, we're going to look at Solidity Smart Contract Best Practices. I want to take a look at the best practices because this will set you up for success in the blockchain space when it comes to creating um, Solidity Smart Contracts. I'm also going to take at a different approach of minting where people that mint can actually get a different unique ID instead of minting in chronological order. We will also be looking at updating the Hashlabs Art Engine as always and there's some exciting new features coming in. So stick around for that and I cannot wait to show everyone. Thank you so much and enjoy the week. Cheers for now.